Welcome to Learn Stroke. This is IAS Radio and you are listening to Daily News Leads. Now, let's quickly discuss the important news items from today's Hindu. The first one, Niti bats for tax breaks to achieve monetization goal. It proposes insolvency cover for investment instruments. So, this is yet another article on National Monetization Pipeline. As you all know, these days the newspapers are flooded with articles relating to the National Monetization Pipeline. There are comments from various sectors, positives, negatives, various analysis from different perspectives. So keep a track of all such articles and make sure that you have an analysis of your own. So in this article, uh, investment trusts or invits are mentioned. Take note of that. In addition to that, the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code or IBC. The Real Estate Investment Trust or REITS. Keep note of all that. In addition to that, Section 54 EC of the In Income Tax Act is mentioned. Section 54 EC allows taxpayers to offset long-term capital gains from transactions in immovable properties through investments in bonds issued by some government-backed infrastructure firms. So, Make sure that you are clear about this particular section, that is Section 54EC of the Income Tax Act. It may come as an optional in your prelims. So, the entire article, as you all know, is very important for your GS3 economy paper. The next one, oil palm plan is a recipe for disaster. Environmental experts and politicians raise concern over center's proposal. So, this is regarding the oil palm plantations. Given the widespread destruction of rainforests and native biodiversity caused by oil palm plantations in Southeast Asia, environmental experts and politicians are warning that the union governments move to promote their cultivation in the northeastern states and Andaman and Nicobar Islands can be disastrous. So, this article clearly points out the environmental implications of the center's decision to promote oil palm plantations in Northeast and Andamans. In addition to the economical perspective, this article brings out the environmental perspective and why many people are arguing against the center's decision. Launch of the 11,040 crore rupee national mission on edible oil oil palm NMEO OP. So, make sure that you know what the national mission on edible oil, oil palm is all about. Okay. So, then it mentions something about the biodiversity hotspots. Biodiversity hotspots are very, very important, especially for your prelims. So, have a rough idea about the various national biodiversity hotspots and the reason why they are brought under hotspots. Then something about the tribal displacement is also mentioned. So, this article can be very useful in writing an answer for your mains paper. And also from the prelims perspective also, this is really important. So, from a geographical perspective, try to understand the geographical spread of oil palm cultivation across India and try to locate the places in the map because Cropping patterns in various parts of the country is a part of your main syllabus. An article relating to history. Glued to their names a slice of history. Pukotur is a common surname of its residents, courtesy of fierce battle. So, this article is about the Malabar rebellion and how the name Pukotur became a common surname among the residents. So, try to understand what the Malabar rebellion was its historical implications. As per local accounts, 400 Maplas and 4 British soldiers lost their lives in the battle at Pukotur on August 26, 1921. So, as far as Indian history is considered, this Malabar rebellion has a very, very prominent role. So, make sure that you know what the Malabar rebellion was. Rare mantid lacewing species found in Kerala Christ College researchers find Mantis Pilla Indica in parts of Trishur, that's in Kerala. So, here this article mentions something about a new species that was identified. 
So, such questions are very frequently seen in your prelims paper, especially the distinguishing features of the new species identified, the geographical location from where that species was identified. All such things are important. So, for your, from your prelims perspective, take a note of this article. Regarding the editorial, a fine line infrastructure development and eco-conservation should go hand in hand. The need for infrastructure development in the Himalayan region rubs up against the environmental and ecological challenges that they pose. This is in special reference to various hydroelectric projects and various after effects of massive hydroelectric projects like the landslips avalanche which may lead to loss of life and property. They also mention about the Kedarnath floods of 2013. Uh, Supreme Court ordered a halt to hydro projects in the Alakananda and Bhagiradi river basins. So, in the map try to locate about the Alakananda and Bhagiradi river basins, their distributaries, tributaries etc. Then there is a mention about the national mission for clean Ganga or the NMCG program, very very important. Then the avalanche in Chamoli in February that destroyed two power projects. So, try to find out which were the two power projects that were destroyed as a result of the avalanche in Chamoli. So, this article has contents regarding your prelims and mains. From your mains perspective, this is very important for your environment. Then the GS1 geography part and also infrastructure. In addition to that, take note of the various places and various hydroelectric projects that are mentioned try to locate them in your map and also take note of the various natural disasters mentioned. Rape and insensitivity. Women's security must not be predicated on restrictions of their rights and freedoms. This article is regarding the highly unfortunate gang rape that happened in Mysuru recently. So, go for a general reading. And there is a mention about the National Crime Records Bureau. So, try to understand what are the functions and area of operations of National Crime Records Bureau. The Afghan theater and judging India's responses, closing the embassy in Kabul does not fall among the questionable decisions in the country's foreign policy stance. So, this article is very important from your GS2, that is India and its neighborhood relations. This can also be helpful for your mains paper as well. So, in this article, in addition to what is being mentioned, in this article, it clearly says that the government has decided to pull off all staff from the Indian embassy in Kabul, Afghanistan, including the ambassador. So, in addition to the facts relating to Afghanistan, have a detailed check about India's foreign policy. It is very, very important. India's foreign policy in various dimensions keeps recurring in UPSC papers. So, try to learn more about it. And the Quad is also mentioned, the Quad composed of the US, Australia, India and Japan. So, take note of the Quad. Seize this opportunity to institutionalize accountability. The discourse on an indemnity waiver for COVID-19 vaccines is a hidden moment for India to act. So, this article says that the Drugs Controller General of India granted Emergency Use Authorization or EUA to the COVID-19 vaccines manufactured by Moderna and by Johnson & Johnson in the end June and early August 2021 respectively. In addition, India has an opportunity to receive 5 crore to 10 crore doses of Pfizer BioNTech's mRNA based vaccine including through the COVAX mechanism co-led by the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations or CPII, Gavi and the World Health Organization before the end of 2021. So, there is an important concept that is mentioned that is adverse events following immunization or AVFI and examples such as vaccine induced immune thrombotic thrombocytopenia or VITT and myocarditis are known. So, try to understand what the after effects of adverse vaccination are. Then more about the COVAX program, try to understand. And from your prelims perspective, 
take note of the various vaccines that are being distributed globally. Towards a more humane police force, efforts are on to improve the human rights protection regime in police stations. Earlier this month, Chief Justice of India N. V. Ramana expressed concern at the degree of human rights violation in police stations in the country. So, this is a factual article regarding the human rights violations in police station. It includes analysis as well. But uh, taking note of the important factual information, National Crime Records Bureau is being mentioned. And the article says that on an average of about 100 custodial deaths have taken place every year between 2010 and 2019. You can mention such facts in your answers. And some sections of the CRPC, that is uh, section uh, 498A of the IPC and section 41 of the CRPC is being mentioned. Try to find out what these sections are about. In addition to that, there is a number of cases that are being mentioned like the Prakash Singh versus Union of India, then DK Basu versus State of West Bengal, then Paramvir Singh versus Baljeet Singh. So, it is a very recent case that is in 2020. So, such cases are very important for your prelims. They may ask this case pertains to which of the following issues. So, take note of such cases. Then uh, Malimath Committee Report 2003. So, such committee reports are also important. So, read the article in detail and make notes. So, this is very important from your GS3 polity, important aspects of governance, transparency and accountability, then facts related to human rights violations. The purpose of literature, it is through inclusive and diverse writings that we get a socio-cultural understanding of our nation. So, this was earlier discussed, that is the Delhi University recently dropped Mahashweta Devi's renowned short story Draupadi and two Dalit writers, Bama and Sukhir Tarani from the BA English Honor Syllabus. So, this is all about the fundamental rights, the right, the freedom of speech and expression. So, it relates to your GS3, just go through. Government extends deadline amid IT portal glitches, new dates for institutional taxpayers. This is regarding the extension of deadline regarding tax filing. So, in this article, make a note of the Central Board of Direct Taxes and in addition to that, try to understand what the Vivat Se Vishwa scheme for direct tax dispute resolution is all about. So, when you prepare for UPSC, you should definitely have a clear-cut understanding about the various kinds of taxation along with their examples. It's extremely useful for your prelims as well as for your mains. Oil pump plan is a recipe for disaster, says activists. This is a continuation of the article that we already read in the first page that is regarding the center's decision for oil pump cultivation. Then uh, in this article, some additional facts are also mentioned. That is, palm oil currently makes up a whopping 55% of India's edible oil imports and the new mission is intended to move towards domestic production and self-reliance instead. And they also mention about the Indian Institute of Oil Palm Research or IIOPR. Then when it comes to the issue related to Andamans, the five important islands are being mentioned. And all five islands are home to tribal communities including the Jarawa and Onji tribes. So the tribal population in Andamans is very important and UPSC has repeatedly asked this question many number of times. So have an account of the tribal population in various states in India. And another fact is mentioned that is in Andhra Pradesh which currently grows more than 90% of India's oil palm. So, uh, try to understand the various small facts that are being mentioned. Also, don't forget to learn about the tribal population and its distribution across India. India, Russia to expand Central Asia ties envoy. The two countries will ink deal on logistics, naval coordination during Russian Defense Minister's visit. So, this is very important for your GS2 international relations. India and Russia are expecting to conclude the bilateral logistics agreement, reciprocal exchange of logistics agreement or RELOS. 
and a Navy to Navy Cooperation Memorandum of Understanding. And in this article, the most important thing that you need to notice S-400. So, try to understand what the S-400 missile systems means. Extend IBC provisions to invits. Experts, robust resolution process crucial to ensure retail investor safety in NMP. Again, an article on economy, the IBC has been frequently appearing in newspaper all these days. Make sure that you have a clear-cut understanding about the IBC or the insolvency and bankruptcy code. U.S. will focus more on China now. U.S. ISPF chief says India can benefit from U.S. investment that is leaving China. So the first important thing, what is U.S. ISPF? That is U.S.-India Strategic Partnership Forum. Take a note of U.S. ISPF. Then the economic cooperation between the countries is mentioned and something about foreign direct investment and trans-Pacific partnership is also import mentioned. So this is very important for your GS2, international relations and for economy. India INC not sanguine about growth. Heads of industry do not share the optimism of the government and RBI shows CII poll of CEOs. Indian industry does not seem to share the government and Reserve Bank of India's optimism about this year's growth prospects according to a poll of CEOs conducted by the Confederation of Indian Industry. So just an analysis about the India's growth patterns. So you go through the article, try to understand the facts and have your own analysis. First Covaxin batch from Gujarat based unit is out. It can make 1 crore doses per month. So you can see the picture of Minister Mansukh Mandavya releasing the first batch of Covaxin made in Ankleshwar. So in the map try to locate where Ankleshwar is. China to require foreign vessels to report in territorial waters. 55% of India's trade via South China Sea, the Malacca Straits. So, an important article from your GS3 International Relations, Economy and GS1 Geography. So, the first thing in your map, try to locate where the Malacca Strait and South China Sea is located. Then, you have a mention about various countries bordering that. So, the China Sea waters and various countries that are having issues relating to this. Take note of that. Then the nine dash line, the nine dash line and the United Nations Convention on the Law of Sea or Unclosed. That is also important. Make a thorough reading regarding that. Then Israel strikes Gaza after fire balloons clashes. Bennett blames Hamas for unrest. An article for GS1 Geography, GS3 IR and also for your map reading. An important concept incendiary balloons incendiary balloons a concept that is being mentioned is mentioned you can see here so try to read more about that and the gaza issue is very frequently appearing in newspapers so have a fair understanding regarding the issue u.s state braces for extremely dangerous hurricane ida ida could be worst direct hit in 170 years so, it's an article about the Hurricane Ida. So, for your geography, all such recently occurring hurricanes, cyclones and tornadoes are very important. Both their names and the concept is very important. Have a thorough reading on that. Want to become rich or achieve your goals or both? So, this is an article regarding traditional investments versus alternative investments. So, in this article, the two important concepts that are being mentioned are new age investments such as cryptocurrencies and non-fungible tokens or NFCs. So, prepare detailed notes regarding cryptocurrencies, various issues related to that, popular cryptocurrencies and also regarding the non-fungible tokens or NFTs that are alternative investments. And the last article for the day, Sports Minister Lottinges. Fit India mobile app. Just some random facts. The Fit India mobile app uh, that was launched as part of the second anniversary of the Fit India movement. And I mentioned regarding the National Sports Day which is celebrated to mark the birth anniversary of hockey legend Major Thyanchand.
So thanks for listening to Daily News Leads. This is IAS Radio.